Hello everyone, yes, we've got a couple of short film reviews we're going to be bringing to you, and today one of them is called Incognita. Now, Incognita is directed by Asha Rosemond, who co-wrote the story with uh, Brielle uh, Carroll, and we get a story of uh, Ben, who is a, a professor, he's starting with a new class, and things are going well, and then one of his new students comes to him and reveals something he didn't expect, and then when he gets home, he is revealed with some other interesting news that would normally be great news for most people but for Ben it has him contemplating some of his life choices and feeling kind of a little nervous of where he's going to go next and how he should handle both situations and we see how all of this plays out in Incognita. I enjoyed the way this was executed. Sean Neese plays the Ben character, and you really feel for this guy. I mean, he makes you feel like, you know, he's he's kind of questioning some of his life choices and at the same time nervous and excited, and he's just got all of these emotions going on, and that does come across on screen through his performance in here. And I, I like that quite a bit. You know, they didn't make it so that he was just like, smiles, yes, this is, you know, he's like, how oh, Okay, what the hell am I gonna do now? You know, and I really enjoyed that approach to it. Now, Phil Kramer plays Trevor, the student who has some surprise uh, reveal for uh, Ben, and I enjoyed the the back and forth they had. They don't get a whole lot of scenes together, but I did like the dialogue they had, and in you know Trevor's reluctance to kind of give this information and his shock at the response of Ben. You know, and so I really liked how they played that off as well. And Timothy J. Cox showing up in here as Professor Phillips. He seems to get a number of professor roles, but he does solid in here as well as, uh, you know, the guy who's given Ben his job and maybe giving him a little of advice as well. Solidly written, well-paced, and edited. I would say with the production, uh, it is, you know, a micro-budget production, and there are some spots where the audio is just a little quiet at times, uh, but not distracting at all. The only thing I did kind of find distracting was the musical track that they used for for this film. It's from A Beautiful Mind. I love A Beautiful Mind and uh, that was in this movie and so they used that and it kind of distracted me a little bit from it but not totally from uh, it to where I didn't en enjoy the movie. So there you have it folks. Incognita. Seek it out where you can. I'll put as much information as always in the body of this video. I thank you for watching. Check out our Patreon if you haven't already. We got new stuff going up all the time and I'm trying to get even more up there and if I get support there I can bring some more stuff here to you all. I appreciate your support and until next time remember keep that ticket stub. Ah.